Okay, everybody, now you're going to find out how to create a option frame in MS Access, an option group. So here I have my form. Oh, by the way, you can download this your database at vbahowto.com. And uh, you can uh, you can go to the blog post. I'll have the database here for you, so you can see this. And what you're looking for is FRM timer. Now here I have two options. Um, I am going to use a timer, and we're going to make believe that uh, or answer some questions. That's why I have this timer text on here, and whether history questions or animal questions. Now notice that I also have a option frame here. Whatever you put in the option frame is going to get a value that's incremented. So you're going to have for the first one you're going to have one, and the second one you add you're going to have two. So I can easily I can say between I can say this is one and this is two. If I don't enter the items into the frame, um, put them on the side. I have to number myself. I have to give them values. But within the frame, they get their own values. So uh, notice that one of these options is not the default one. So um, I have yes, no. I want yes to be my default answer. Well, if I right click on the screen here and choose design view, I can go into here. And I don't want to choose between this and this. Oh, by the way, while we're here. I'm going to say, uh, I'm looking at option value, one, this is what I just said, one, two. So I have the value of this is one, the value of this is two. Now I can, if you know that you're adding to the frame, when the frame turns dark like this, if you're adding it just to the form, it's not going to turn dark. Okay, so... Now back to back to this. Now the frame is the most important thing to give a name to. That's why I give it a name of FRA timer. And my default value is going to be in the data tab. The default value is going to be one because I do want uh, yes to be selected. And that is a value of one. Again, this is a value of one. This is a value of two. So my default value for the entire frame. Okay, it's going to be one. Now I'm going to save this and go into uh, go into my my view, my form view. I'm going to close this and reopen it, and I should have my value of my uh, my option is going to if it is a lows will be yes. <laughs> okay, and so yes, history questions use timer. No, don't use timer. And then uh, no animal questions, no timer, and then yes, animal questions, timer. Okay, so that is that is it in operation. Let's look at the code here. Okay, I'm pressing alternate F11 to get into here. Now when the form loads, I'm going to initialize my modular level variable called BLN timer. I have a uh, declared it up here in the general deck section it's a module level variable so I'm prefixing with M underscore okay and now when I click oh, let's see if I can I can show you this based on whatever's clicked in the timer I'm setting it either on or off I'm setting the timer on true or false okay be on the timer true be on the timer false now, if I once I click, if I click on the animals, the animal button, I'm saying BLN timer if it equals to true. And again, I set that by clicking on it. Responds the frame itself responds to the click. Okay, responds to click. Whenever you click an option button, it's a click event on the frame. Okay, so frames, option buttons, same type of thing. You can also put checkboxes, but that's another story. So, but the frame is the most important part. You're clicking on the frame onto the option button that's on the frame. Okay, that's clear. Uh, if not, please leave a question in the comment area. 
or uh, get to me at Eric at VBA How To or Eric at Lobo Health Services, and I will uh, be glad to answer your specific question. So, uh, this video is getting long, and I'm going to end right quick. I do want to encourage you to come on out to VBAHowTo.com and download the database and you can see how this is implemented again this is eric and vb how to is the website thanks for watching bye bye